In this video, we're going to be taking a look at decimal patterns. And the goal for the video is to be able to multiply decimals by any power of 10. Okay, now what we're going to take a look at is a zero rule. We're going to have to move our spider just a little bit here. Okay, now this is really important to write down in your notes that when multiplying by a power of 10, what I mean by a power of 10, that's 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so on. Okay. You want to move the decimal point to the right the same number of places as there are zeros. Okay. For example, if we have 87 and 5 tenths, we're multiplying that by 100. That means we're going to move our decimal point three places to the right. Now, sometimes it will cause us to add zeros to the end. Sometimes we'll be able to just move the decimal however many places. Okay. So if we move it three places to the right, the decimal point, that's going to give us a total of 87,500. Now you can see whenever we run out of digits to move around, we have to add zeros at the end. Okay, so it's really important that you understand this rule. When multiplying by a power of 10, move the decimal point to the right the same number of places as there are zeros. So for the number 10, we would move the decimal one place to the right. The number 100, two places to the right because there are two zeros. The number 1,000, three places to the right because there are three zeros, and so on. Now we're going to take a look at some of these problems here. And what I'm going to do is write these down. And we'll, I'll do the first one with you. We'll do two together. Then I'll have you do the last one all by yourself. OK? So if I'm taking a look at two and 5 tenths times 10, the first thing that I will want to do is I'm going to write this down. So we got rid of our furry little friend over there. Now we're going to start getting down to business. So I'm going to write 2 and 5 tenths down first, and it's really important that you do that. Okay, just want to rewrite that decimal. Okay, now I think about my key tip, and my key tip was however many zeros are in my power of 10, that's how many places to the right I need to move my decimal. Okay, so I only have one zero and my power of 10. That means I need to take my decimal, I'll use a different ink for this, one place to the right. Okay, equaling the number 25. Okay, so that is how you do it. So 2 and 5 tenths times 10, as you can see, gives me 25. Okay, I'm going to do number or the second one for you, and then we'll do a couple together here. Okay, so first step, we want to rewrite our decimal. Five and four tenths. Now we're multiplying five and four tenths times a hundred. So the roll, however many zeros are in my power of ten, that's how many places to the right I move my decimal. So what I will need to do is take my decimal and move it one place to the right. Now, I've run out of numbers to move it around, okay? So I'm going to pretend that there are numbers here, okay? So one place to the right, and then two places to the right, and that would leave my decimal right here at the end of my number, okay? Now, what do I do whenever I move it around a pretend digit? What I do if, is you, if you can pretend that's an egg basket, what I do there is I just drop the egg right in the basket, okay, which gives me the grand total of 540 for my answer. Okay, so that's one thing that can be a little tricky, but just remember whenever you run out of digits, you just move it around imaginary digits and then drop your egg right into that basket. So we have 5 and 4 tenths times 100 gives me a grand total of 540. Now what I want you to do is get out your pencil and we're going to do this next one together. So the first thing we will do is rewrite my decimal. Okay, We have 0 and 8 hundredths. Write that out. Okay. Now the next step is we got to take a look at our power of 10. How many zeros are in our power of 10? We only have one zero. That means we, we are moving the decimal one place to the right. 
Okay, so we take our decimal, we move it one place to the right, equaling eight tenths for our answer. So we don't need to have zero, zero, point eight. We could just have zero, point eight for our answer. Okay, so you can see that the answer there is eight tenths. Okay, now we're going to do this last one together, then I'll have you do four and three tenths times 100 all by yourself. Okay, first step again, we're going to rewrite that decimal. We have three and 61 thousandths. Okay, now next thing is to look at our power of 10. I have three zeros in my power of 10. So that means I'm going to need to move the decimal how many places? You got it three places to the right. So I take my decimal, I'm going to move it three places to the right. One, two, three places to the right, which leaves my decimal right at the very end of my number. Okay, and then you can just write this as 3,061. You can leave the decimal point out. Okay, so 3,000. 61 okay and the reason why we lose we move our decimal point out and we don't use it it's just understood that the decimal point is to the right of the ones place okay for a total of like I said again 3061 okay now what I want you to do is pause this video and I want you to do four and three tenths times 100 all by yourself so I want you to pause the video now Okay, so you've worked this problem out. You should have gotten 430. Let me explain how you should have gotten this problem. You take 4 and 3 tenths. Okay, now you multiply that by 100. Okay, so two zeros in my power of 10. That means I'm moving my decimal two places to the right. So I take my decimal point. I go to the right of my three, I've run out of digits. I still move it another place to the right, leaving my decimal point right over here. However, I do need to drop a zero right into the egg basket, giving me a total of 430 for the answer. Okay, now we're just gonna make this a tad bit trickier now. Okay, now that we have understood the rule of however many zeros are in our power of 10, that's how many places to the right we're going to move our decimal it's really really important to understand that the digits the value of the digits do not change the only thing that's moving is the decimal point and that is it all the digits always stay the same okay whenever we're multiplying by powers of 10 all right now this is a little bit tougher here but if you have if you understood the last concept you'll be okay with this all right now we're trying to figure out 68 and 91 hundredths we've multiplied it by a power of 10 and that got us 689 and 1 tenth. Okay, now we can see that originally the decimal point was in between the 8 and the 9. Okay, now from this number here to this number, the decimal point only moved one place to the right. Okay, so since the decimal point only moved one place to the right, we understand the rule. However many zeros that are in our power of 10, that's how many place values the decimal moves to the right. So if it's only moved one place to the right, we can see that our power of 10 that's being multiplied here is just simply the number 10. Okay, and you can even double check that. If I were to take 68 and 91 hundredths, And I multiply that by my power of 10. Okay, I can see that the decimal point is moved one place to the right. Okay, for 689 and 1 tenth. Okay, now, there's a couple things that you can do to solve these problems. You can just work it the way I did. You can even try it, check it, and then revise it as you go. Okay, let's say, for example, for this problem, I have 98 and seven tenths and then that was transformed to ninety eight thousand seven hundred so let's say for example I think this power of 
10 is 100. It's being multiplied by. So I have 98 and 7 tenths. Now if I were multiplying that by 100, that means I'm moving the decimal two places to the right. So let's check it out. 1, 2 places to the right. Now two places to the right, the only thing that's getting me is 9,870. Okay, so I can see that I need to move it one more place to the right. So instead of multiplying it by 100, I need to take it another place to the right, giving me 98,700, which is the answer right here. So instead of multiplying it by 100, I can see through trying, checking, and revising that it needed to be multiplied by 1,000. Okay, now we're going to do this next problem together. So let's write it out. 0 and 5 thousandths times a certain number equals 5 tenths. Okay, so I can see that originally my decimal point was right here. Okay, in other words, I had two digits or two zeros in front of my five and my five fell in the thousandths place. Now my five in the answer is in the tenths place. So what happened to this number in order to get it to, or what did this number get multiplied in order to make it five tenths? So I could even take a look at my number that's written out, okay? I can think, okay, how many places to the right? Let's see, one, two places to the right it was multiplied by. So since it's two places to the right that the decimal moved, okay, that means it wasn't multiplied two places to the right, multiplied by a power of 10 that moved the decimal two places to the right. Okay, so since that's the case, I can see that my answer is 100. Okay, now what I want you to do is pause the video and work out 57 hundredths times what power of 10 will equal 57. So I want you to pause the video now and work out this problem. Okay, you should have worked out that problem now. And we have 57 hundredths times what power of 10 equals 57. So what I can do is just see how many places to, to the right do I need to move that decimal. I have one place to the right, two places to the right, giving me 57. So since there are only two places to write my decimal moved, I know that the rule is however many digits, or I'm sorry, however many zeros are in that power of 10, that's how many places to the right I move my decimal. Okay, so I moved it two places. So that means that missing number, missing power of 10 is 100. Okay, so that is how you multiply decimals by powers of 10. As you can see, I did not set it up vertically. It stayed horizontally the whole entire time. This is a very, very simple way to multiply by powers of 10. Okay, you just move that decimal point to the right, and that is it. Okay, please come and see me if you have any questions about this concept.